And today I'm going to do some experimenting. I've had a few questions about what you can use the iRock on. My, one of my very favorite tools if you've been watching my videos. And uh, they've, I've been asked if you can use them on plastic, like to be used on your ATG, because everyone wants to bling out their ATG, right? So um, I, these stones were actually already adhesive. So I was a little nervous to try the iRock on there right away, but today I'm gonna to experiment and answer a few questions for some of my followers and friends. They wanna know if you can use it on plastic without melting the plastic, and they want to know if you could use it on a candle. So we are going to do some experimenting, and I'm gonna let you guys watch. So, the plastic that I have is just an old container that I don't really need to use, and if it works, Great. If it doesn't, I can throw it away. It's no big deal. So we're going to do the lid. And I'm just, I just put a stone on here and I've heated up my eye rock. Okay. It's nice and hot. Okay, it's melted because I started to see it sliding around. So let's see if it's going to stay on there. Now, of course, if you touch your eye rock directly to the plastic, it will melt the plastic. So I guess when you're doing plastic, you should probably be very careful with your, your eye rock. But once that glue has dried, it looks like it's on there. So let's you look at the other side. Yeah. Nope, you can see the shadow of where it's at, but it has not melted through the plastic. Okay, so that was soft plastic. I need to find something that's hard plastic also, like a tape runner. So I'll use this older tape runner and we'll get a stone. Is this a major duty experimenting here? Okay. Now this would be the type of plastic that your ATG is made out of. I just had to experiment on something not as precious as the pink ATG. Okay, looks like it's melted, so let's see. Yep. So the only thing is, is that it doesn't stay very well. It comes right off. But, I guess, if you're not gonna... Let's see if we can melt it a little. Melt it a little more. Okay, it's nice to melt it because it's sliding around. So let's wait for it to cool. Yeah, I would just say that it comes off. One more thing to try. Sorry, this is the only candle I had. So let's give it a go. Okay, let's let it cool for a second. It's melted. And it's melted part of my candle just a tiny bit. Yeah, it just slides right off. So yes, you can do it without damaging your things, as long as you don't put the eye rod directly on the product, but no, they don't stay on very well. So that's our experiment. Thanks for watching.